la primera vez que se presenta de tal forma y creo que hay una demostración These are uh, mummies they found. Se presenta de tal forma mm. y creo que hay una demostración clara de que nos encontramos ante ejemplares no humanos mm. que no tienen relación con ninguna otra especie en nuestro mm. mundo y que se encuentran abiertas todas las posibilidades para que cualquier institución científica mm. los pueda investigar. The Quran does not Now watch Islamic video and this is according to Quran or deny about aliens. the creation of other entities. The Quran is ambiguous and mm. one could say that some verses seem to suggest other creations besides us. Besides and us. one could say that those verses don't suggest other creations besides us. They simply are generic. So in the end of the day, Islam The Quran, our religion, is not explicit about other life forms. Mm. However, some people have interpreted some verses to imply that there are other creations of Allah. Did they live before other us? Creations. Did they live after us? Are they living contemporaneous to us I, right now? Are they living in some other entity? Mm. Allah knows best. But perhaps, I want everybody to be very clear, do not misquote me. What am I saying? Be very precise because well, one of the biggest problems is the speaker says something and then the audience or somebody goes and puts on the internet, oh, Sheikh so and so said this. Be very precise. I am be saying very precise. the evidence of the Quran is ambiguous. Nothing is explicit. Mm. But perhaps some evidences can possibly be interpreted to suggest other creations of Allah. Call them aliens, call them UFOs. This is not besides the point. Has Allah created others besides us? Were they before us? Were they after us? Are they in other galaxies? Is besides the point. Are there other creations? Perhaps, yes. What are some of those verses? Well, let us begin with the first verse. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of every single alam. What is an alam? Every an single alam is a alam. world or an alam is an entire species unto itself. And Allah is the Lord of every single creation. So obviously classical scholars understood alameen to imply man, animals, jinn, angels. But from the very beginning, Allah is saying, you're not alone. There are other mm. creations I have. You are not alone. Alamin. Another verse that is interpreted in this manner is that Allah says in the Quran that He has created the heavens and earth. And He has scattered creatures throughout the heavens and the earths. Mm. Now, one could say He has scattered creatures in this heaven and this earth. But the verse is the plural, Samawat. He has scattered creatures. Then He says, that if he wants to, he can cause these species to meet, to come mm. together, meaning they are not together right now. Very so this could be interpreted. Now others will interpret it in another manner and they will say that while well, Allah is talking about the day of judgment, he will gather them together on the day of judgment. This is also valid, mm. but the language could possibly be interpreted that he has scattered creatures throughout the heavens and earth. And if he wants to, he can cause these creatures to meet. This is also mm. linguistically possible. And of the evidences that in my humble opinion, And I personally lean towards, I don't say UFOs or aliens, this is not very... I say I lean towards the position that was championed by Ibn Taymiyyah himself more than 700 years ago. And Ibn Taymiyyah believed, or he, I should say he suggested and he defended the position that we are not the only creation of Allah. We and that it is somewhat arrogant to assume that we, have, we are the only creation. Rather, Allah has created other creations and he will continue to create other creations after us. That we are but one of the infinite creations infinite of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, this is his position and I support it. But at the end of the day, we don't know for sure. I'll finish with one verse. The verse that I think is perhaps one of the strongest mm -hmm. to indicate that there are or there were or there will be other creations of Allah is Allah saying in Surah Isra, We have honored the children of Adam and we have allowed them the opportunity to ride in the oceans and on the animals. We've given them things that right. other creatures have not been given. Then Allah says, and we have blessed them over many other creations that we have created. Now, mm. in the creations that we know, the world around us, are animals and jinn higher than us or are we higher than them? Louder. Who is at the top of the hierarchy? We are. Did, the, did we bow down to the angels or the angels bow down to us? Mm. The angels bow down to us. So the righteous of the men are better even than the angels. Mm. And we know the jinns also were told to bow down. And obviously the animals are lesser than us. Yet Allah mm. says in Surah Al-Isra, we have privileged men over many other creations, mm. not all other creations. There could be 
other creations of Allah that have been privileged over us with things that we do not have. There could be. So again, to conclude this question, please don't post on Twitter, Sheikh Yasser Qadi believes in UFOs. No, calm down, mm. relax, breathe. That's what I'm saying is, the evidences are ambiguous. We don't hold, I don't say for certainty either position, but I personally lean towards Ibn Taymiyyah's opinion, which is mm. that Allah continually creates creations. And we are but one creation. Before us there were creations, after us there will be creations. And even Ibn Taymiyyah says this seems to be the possibility. He does not say this is the truth and the haqq because the Quran That's does not true. explicitly tell us. There are also statements from Ibn Abbas and others that I don't want to get into. You're already looking at me in a confused manner. So we'll just leave the question over there.